Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope that you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about what's coming up here for the solstice. And I have mentioned this in a couple other videos, deadlines. There are deadlines for some of this stuff that needs to happen. Now those deadlines are from a higher level where certain things are expected and have been prepared for and planned for so that things here at the physical level can actually take place. And that's always where it starts. And, you know, if you're here at ground level, you might say sometimes like, when is it? Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Or you might be seeing it, but it doesn't really look the way you thought it would. And yet those deadlines are like markers. They're like markers along the road where there's a delineation point of what it was before and what it is after those deadlines. And this can throw people off sometimes because they will sometimes wonder what happened, what happened to the feeling, what happened to that person, why am I getting the drift, why does it feel like something is very elusive and I'm missing something. It can give you a sense that you are somehow missing something. And it might even make you question yourself where you might say, do I have a screw loose, okay? where you might sometimes feel like there's some kind of pasta that's coming out of your head and it's just endless bowls of, you know, kind of twisty pasta paste. <laughs> okay, so um, also along the way, now there's some really been some great things that have happened for people. So starting in 2013, people were able to start to feel themselves more. Why? Because you had passed through 2012. That was the beginning of the closure of some of the karma, some of it. That enabled some of the opening of your body. That's how you started feeling things to begin with. So sometimes you got really interested in things such as crystals. And a lot of it's still very interesting. Right now I have malachite and I have rose quartz. These are also suggestions that I make to people in session and in my classes if we talk about it. Um, what does the rose quartz do? It's good for heart energy. And these are very helpful. Some of the other things, cards, cards. We got the nine of cups here. What are some of the other things? candles and incense. Why? Because now your body can feel a response to it. All right. And now you're able to. So as of 2013, you've had a lot of people kind of be propelled and they start exploring. But one of the kickers here is that they forget about their twin flame journey. It's all a part of the journey, of course. But you have to bring it back to focus on the twin because that's where you get lost. No matter how much of this you burn, it is not going to bring your twin to you. No matter how many candles you light and hold a vigil, it's not going to bring your twin to you. There are things that draw your twin to you. These things are helping to clear and help you get clarity. And sometimes you go around and, you know, you'd like some answers and you want to see, is it a yes? Is it a no? Or you might feel completely out of it as though something is messing with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's, it's not intended to mess with you. This is not a cosmic joke. In fact, this is not even a test or a rehearsal. This is it. This year, it's for real. It is on and it's for real. So some of the things that are going to happen are people are having their final flings. There was a time last year when people were having their final flings. A lot of the masculine were having their final flings. This year, a lot of the feminine are having their final flings. It may not feel like it's been a fling. But you may come to realize on the other side of it that 
somehow there was something about that that just wasn't permanent. It was not sustainable. People will feel remorse. The masculine does feel remorse for things. And sometimes that remorse is on a grand scale. Things having to do with war. Things having to do with causing something. Things having to do with being in the wrong place at the wrong time or on the wrong side. You're on the wrong side of history and you have remorse about it. This doesn't always come up in a past life reading. Sometimes it comes up very personally so you can see your part in things. And that happens. Why? Because it's all a part of your twin flame journey. All of these aspects, all of these things, tools and so forth, these are parts of your twin flame journey. And yet it can be mind blowing as to where do you look and where do you get the things that are necessary for you. That is where I come in because I get you focused back on where it needs to be on your twin. And where did you, where did you start this to begin with? with feeling. That means your body. Okay. Emotions, sensations. So it's time for proper endings and conclusions so that closure can come about. Closure only happens if you fully close things up at this level. And if you bring things to a closure, for some people that will mean divorces. For some people that might mean embarking on a divorce. For some people, that might mean closing things up with family or with friends, mending fences and being able to close the fence. How do you do that? You do it through your body. You do it through your light body. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. This will make the air smell just as good as spraying, you know, a scent in the air. It's an aroma. And again, this works with your body because it works with your subtle bodies. You can walk in and feel it as well as smell it, okay? That's something that I teach about opening up your subtle body so that something as simple as this or something as simple as a piece of the earth can actually help you and guide you to where to place it, how to put it. So... The proper endings, this may be something that started in the shadows and someone is trying to keep it hidden and yet it needs to come out and have a proper ending to it. This can be um, all kinds of things. Like I'll give you an example, people that have tried to hide illegitimate children. That's gone on throughout history. We're going to hide children. We're going to sell children. We're going to kidnap them. We're going to put them someplace. We're going to pretend they're someone else's. We're going to pass them off as our own. That's just one example. And yet the past will keep unraveling and people will have remorse and regrets about the way that they treated those children. I had a friend die recently and on his Facebook page, there was a man with the same last name who actually wrote, I'm sorry I never got to meet you, brother from another mother. And apparently his father had had a child with someone else. And they knew he, this man knew about the one who died, but they had never met. He regretted it. He had those regrets. This is also regretting destruction that has happened. So I've talked about this. The one really big closure for this solstice is conflict. Conflict is closing, and yet, as with most spiritual things, sometimes that will take months to actually wind it down to an actual closure. Conclusion to close. You're finishing the finishing part. I once had a pretty strong discussion about this once, about how... You're finishing the finishing part, and it is concluded, but you're still concluding so you can bring it to a closure. Well, that's how it is for some of us, is that it goes in cycles. So that's the next thing I want to let you know. I teach you about your body so that you can learn how to do this because it will be going all into next year, okay? And there's certain segments of the population that really haven't even begun their awakenings yet. People that are in politics, 
people that are in the corporate world, uh, people that are connected to the legal world, okay? These are all parts of the macrocosm of which you're part of the microcosm and the cosmic aspects of that, of the macrocosm have been brought to this microcosm for exactly this, changing it, concluding it, regretting it, and learning how to be new. Your body is entirely new. It's not like the old body. You have more bells and whistles than you may even be aware of. So when you first start feeling drawn to things like this, I'm going to light candles, I'm going to burn incense, I'm going to read cards, I ordered these great cards, I'm going to use a pendulum, I have um, crystals, and you might feel like you're armed with all your stuff. You're ready. You're actually not ready. That's only the beginnings of feeling yourself. But that's a good start because... When you start off, this will test your intuitions, test what you know. And then it becomes not so much a test, but it's serious. Now you have to know what you know, which brings me to the next thing, the world, okay? You're expanding. Some of you are expanding for things having to do with immigration so that you can be with your twin. You're expanding your horizons. But you're thinking that you're already there and you may have caused something of a delay. And in your mind, you're thinking, well, it's here. The June solstice is here, except you may not have really taken the steps you've needed to. That happens. You may not even have known the steps that you need to take or the things that you need to do. For one thing, what's not going to happen for a lot of people is being with your twin between a dimension. You've got to deal with whatever is still stuck in your union or attached to your union or attached to you. You've got to deal with that right down to the molecules of your body. The good news is I teach that and your body cooperates with you. Your body is sentient because it's a part of you. And free will as you once knew it actually does go away. So that's been a big question out there. What if my twin is practicing free will and, you know, decides that they're going to still, you know, do whatever they're doing? It doesn't go well. It doesn't go well until, you know, there's sort of a regret and there's remorse and they realize that something is final. There's something final about it. It's coming to a finality. It's coming to a conclusion. They may not even know. And that's where you have to be. Their lighthouse. You're the light in the darkness of their life when they go through that. And some of you sense it and you say things like, my twin's experiencing some of those dark nights. I can feel it. It's messing me up. It's slowing me down. And I just want to get where we're going. Well, sorry, it's going to take the time it takes. And you have to help each other. Now, I have very easy, simple ways for you to get your channels open your channels are how you will exist and thrive with each other. It's like having a series of, like a circulation system. Your body has a circulatory system that brings the blood from your heart all the way down to your toenails, nourishes your toenails. Have you ever seen someone's feet and they have little hairs on their toes? <laughs> they have hairs on their big toes. Of course, you've seen it. If you go to the beach, you've seen someone, right? How do those little hairs get nourished? And why do we grow hairs anyway where we don't want to grow hair? Okay, well, that's an entirely different video. But the point is, is that there's something carrying the nourishment there. And there's the DNA that makes that happen. You have your spiritual DNA. It's been deep inside you. It's been getting upgraded and downloaded and purged and purified and that's where all of the stuff that happened last year, the next half of this year requires being proactive, hands-on, get body, get body work, find out about your body so that the world can be your oyster. Do you have a passport? For you, that message might be get yourself a passport because it's going to come in handy. Passports take anywhere from you know, five to six weeks here in the United States, uh, sometimes faster if you uh, can prove to them. 
in other places or if you're planning travel, you might need to apply for a visa. The world is getting ready to be your oyster. If you have immigration things in your union and you're saying, how are we going to get this together? Well, are you not taking steps or are you staying in fear? Are you letting the spaghetti get to your head? Where, you know, it starts to feel like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, and there she's got a big spiral of stuff stuck that feels like a mental miasm. And, oh, my goodness, there's, you know, there's several weird stringy tangled up connections there. So you also have people in relationships where they can be in a relationship and whatever started them off, they start to feel weird about it. Really weird, but dull, neutral, blah. Okay, you're starting to feel like my dad. Every time I look at you, I don't know, I see aspects of my dad. It's really weird. Well, sometimes I feel like I'm taking care of a little girl. If you have a relationship that starts to feel like a parental relationship or brother and sister, you need to come talk to me because we need to get that shifted for you. Because what her heart knows is there is someone else who is wild and free as nature that belongs to her, not someone who stayed in old school and someone who is controlling, someone who's wild and free and maybe ready to ride the surf with her, you know, ready to, you know, really, really go out in the world because the world is representing the cosmos. You're not going to be able to uh, do any more astral travel. However, with each other, you will be able to go to the place that you are going to find is the true gateway. Okay. So, and this is throwing people off. I've said it for months now. The astral plane is closing. As it closes, it gets weird for people. It just, it gets weird. You see things, you hear things. Um, you see oddball things, people say weird stuff to you. So come and find out, how do you get above that? How do you seal the gates? Okay, because this energy is about your senses. It's about sensations. Okay, sensations, what does that mean? Well, physical sensations, good sensations, feeling yummy in your tummy, not feeling blah. Do you know what the doldrums are? Some of you might, if you know sailing terminology, boats, okay? Back in the day when boats used sails, they would find at certain times of the year, and these spots still exist on the planet, there's a couple of spots in the ocean where it's such a dead calm and there's no wind. And those areas are called the doldrums. And if you're stuck there, you're really stuck and you have to wait for the wind. Well, this is the energy where the cosmic wind, the world, you have to be able to feel and feel those sensations. You have to feel not just wind under your wings, but movement under your feet. Take one step and surrender. Surrender yourself to this, opening your senses more opening your sensations, and getting the old gate sealed. Now, just imagine what kind of a world would it be, okay, if people feel good, you feel physically good, but your mood is good, and you're feeling the love. But further, we could close the gate to history where history doesn't repeat itself. How easy is that? Well, it's actually very easy through your body, and that's what I teach. I teach you, and that's what we're going to cover in multidimensional living, sealing the gates. Now, even if your twin does not actively participate in this with you, I have a way to draw in your twin so that you are able to feel them. You feel your twin participating, and it's better than phoning it in or talking to them in a conversation. Why? Why? Because you completely bypassed the ego. That's what you want. 
You want to get your twin out of the boxes. You can't live in those boxes anymore. Get out of the box and start being wild and free like nature, passionate and healthy. And with the wisdom of the ages, not the pains of the ages. That's what you want to seal the gates to, all of the pains, okay? Why did some of this stuff even start? Like, why do people circumcise each other? Girls get circumcised, boys get circumcised, people hold a celebration. There was a big discussion when I was uh, pregnant with my son. I actually was not sure what to do. Do I circumcise? Do I not circumcise? And interestingly, people will relate to it from their own perspective. And I came to realize some people can't have a perspective because their part was taken away from them. And sometimes it's a matter of course, it used to be that way here. And for other people, it's part of a ritual or a rite of passage. And for other people, it's due to uh, some disease or illness or inflammation or uh, some kind of anomaly. And there, it's a surgical reason for it, a medical reason. But why? How does some of this? Well, it goes back to history. And this gets tang tangled up with remorse, regret. Do we regret body parts we've lost? Do we regret things that were taken from us? Do we regret taking things from other people? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it hasn't hit some people yet. Um, however, I do know that some people have felt it very deeply and very personally. And how does one be wild and free like nature if parts of them are missing? Okay, your body, the very reason that you felt this to begin with, your light body. So I teach about the five subtle bodies. I teach you how to get your channels open. I teach you about joint connections. In my webinar, okay, now I'm on part three already. If you join for part three, I give you part one and two. We talk about essential oils, how to use them, where to place them, how to um, do it. It's very simple recommendations. I make suggestions on supplementation and answer questions. And we leave with leaving you with the loving feeling of your twin to embrace you and envelop you. The very thing that many of you are longing for and wondering. And so if you feel like, you know, a lot of these things are fun. They are fun. I love crystals. You know what? I really like diamonds. <laughs> a lot of you would like diamond engagement rings. That's a beautiful crystal that carries resonance. Crystals carry resonances. They're used in technology. They're used in radios. They're used in other devices like lasers. But they carry a resonance that connects to your subtle bodies. Why? Ah, well, the why. That is something that not everyone thinks about. We don't want to think about it. We want to feel it. You want that wind in your sails. You want your boat to get going out of the doldrums. Get yourself out of the blah, blah, blah. It's like pasta without salt. It's just, you know, you got to put something on it. Pasta without salt, it's just blah. You need sauce. You need garlic. You need basil. You need herbs. You need it too. Your body is one giant crystal. So if you like the sound of that, come and join. We're doing it Friday at 6 p.m. If that is evening for you, so this would be, in Australia, it would be the next morning. I have actually had people join from in their room, in their privacy, and be really comfy. And I've had people put on their pajamas and... Get ready to go to sleep after this because many times they will sink in. And sometimes they write me back and tell me some really great things happened after this. That's on June 1st. Okay. Um, it is Saturday morning in Asia. Or June 2nd. This is Saturday morning here in the United States in Chicago because I'm in Chicago. So that's central time. And... This would be in the afternoon in the UK. It would be towards evening in uh, Greece, Turkey. Um, I think it would be in the middle of the night in India or the Middle East. And again, 
Um, don't worry about getting parts two, one and two. Now by part four, I'm gonna begin teaching you and showing you and walking you through starting to elevate out of the body because we're coming up to the closure of the astral plane. Of course, naturally it's gonna affect people. It just is. And some of it's been weird. It's been like weird nightmares, weird people showing up, people coming out of the woodwork, weird things happening in your daytime. The That doesn't mean you're crazy because you're not crazy. This is for real. It's just you're leaving a lot of the things behind for proper endings. Anything that has started as an affair has to have a proper ending. And because you're not ending things the way that they began. So there are reasons people will drift away. And if you are interested in much more of an immersive experience, try my live class in Chicago. It is June 16th from 9 till 3. And this is going to be a very good class. One of the things to know is that I'm able to feel you and your twin, okay? Some practitioners, they can only feel you. I feel you and your twin. This is twin flame stuff. So everything is sort of a stepping stone, a really fun stepping stone. Ooh, the nine of cups. Ooh, crystals, rose quartz crystal. Oh, it feels so good, right? And you want more. You like it, you love it, you want some more of it. Yes, you do. And yes, that's what you're here for. And yes, it's fun. And yes, help you to easily purge things. Now, there's something else to know about why I'm teaching these classes, okay? Not only is it my guidance, but I've been preparing for this time for actually since about 2014 and documenting things and formatting it so that it is easy to follow, so that it's it's in something that you can pack into your day. And I had that sort of lesson early on. It's one thing if someone is doing this and maybe you don't work at an outside job, but for people that are busy or have kids, how would you like something that you can just be given to do to get your channels open, have it be uh, something that maybe work at a little bit and then it's easy to maintain. Okay, where you can pack it into your day. It actually fits into your day. It's not something where you have to block an entire day or, or you know, like this, this has happened. Someone's meditating and the kids are a disturbance and she sits up and everyone be quiet. Mommy is meditating. And everyone's like, whoa, mommy's meditating. Now mommy's on the war path and there's no peace in the household. Because why? Because mom's upset. How many times do you have that happen? You can't go spend seven years in Tibet. You can't easily get on a plane. Join my class and find out how. Because over the next year, all into next year, you have to learn how to dissipate things on a daily basis. Because if your twin's not doing it and neither of you are doing it, you're going to have issues, okay? It's going to feel like, and you're going to have to find your way up out of those doldrums again. Keep yourself fresh and exciting and as wild and free as nature, okay? Because you were born that way. You're a human angelic. So thank you so much for watching the links are below. I also have another uh, webinar I recommend called Being in the New Life, where I talk a lot about um, your body's uh, systems. And it has to do with sensations and things that a lot of you are going through right now. So this one is about getting channels opened. And we're talking a lot about uh, the elevations that you need to be able to do and to keep your activations going, okay? Where you're activating stuff for you and your twin, where you're continuing to open stuff up, you know, like those little treasure boxes inside you. You got the key in the lock and you're opening things up little by little. So I hope to see you there. 
It's going to be fun. We have a lot of laughs and people do share things you, you can share as much as you want or as little as you want. And yet you will always get something out of it. And if you are going through some physical stuff, but you know for sure you're not really deathly ill or sick enough for the hospital and the doctor, come and join because we can usually um, focus on that. And I do get guidance from in there and we want to get that shifted for you. That's my personal, that's my personal thing is getting people empowered so that you're, you're not floundering and that you are successful with your true love and your physical union. So thanks so much. Um, two opportunities here. This is live online. This one is live in person, um, right by Chicago O'Hare Airport. It's very reasonable. You will get a lot out of it. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.